Hey guys, my name is Sparkles. Uh, just wanted to see, have you guys seen any Lucky Charms around here? I swear I smelled some. Um, yeah, I'm looking for some Lucky Charms. Have you seen any? Can you help me out? Huh? What? Oh, this Lucky Charms. I'm going to go check it out. Hold on. One second. Yes, I finally found some Lucky Charms. Woohoo! Let me just go check it out. What? Is this some sick joke? There's no Lucky Charms. What? I'm so angry right now. I can't believe someone placed such a sick joke on me. I've just been for unicorn that want Lucky Charms. I'm gonna go in my hole to cry. Goodbye. Hello everyone, I'm just super excited to try out this new robot vacuum, the 960, that iRobot sent out to me for free in exchange for a review. But as you know, Robot Masters doesn't just do one review. We have to do several reviews over the lifetime of the robot. We'll see how good it is. Alright, let's go ahead and get cleaning with this 960. Okay, since this is the first time running the robot, it's going to give me some helpful hints to pick up the cables and cords and to move furniture if possible. So, did you hear that beeping sound? It kind of reminds me of those construction trucks where whenever they back up, they have the similar lock. Very cute animation sounds that iRobot does with the robots. Good job, iRobot. So, just as a disclaimer, yes, I got this Robot 960 for free, but in exchange for a review, I'll keep my opinions at bay and my biases towards the robot. I'll try to showcase the robot as it is in this full house cleaning, and you'll see how well the guy picks up all the debris. Another thing is I do run my robots daily, so this guy may not pick up anything. So why am I so excited about the 960? Well, the 960 has a lot of the similar features that more expensive robot vacuums that Roomba sells for a cheaper price. Also, this is kind of like the middle of the road robot vacuum. iRobot also sells a cheaper robot vacuum like the Roomba 675. Also, they sell the Roomba E5. And then more expensive robot vacuums like the i-series, like the i7, and the s-series, the s9. But this guy can hold its own with a really good airflow. I can actually feel it while I'm filming, which is nice because, you know, I get hot while I film. But with that nice breeze coming from the robot vacuum, it's nice. And also, the breeze shoots upwards so it doesn't scatter the debris around. So the 900 series was iRobot's first robot vacuum to have a camera system which uses iAdapt 2.0. So what's great about iAdapt 2.0 is it's great for locating itself. So if you ever move the robot, it can actually figure out where it's at and continue cleaning. You'll see this later in the video where the robot actually does get stuck. But I move it over a couple feet and the robot has no problem picking up where it left off. Also, the robot does really good keeping track where it's left off. So you may think, oh, okay, it's missing a few spots, but it actually makes its way back into that area to make sure it covers all the areas. Okay, so let's have a look at the dirt detection. So if the robot detects excessive amounts of dirt, it will actually concentrate in that area. You notice it's short back and forth cleaning power. This is the same method that the i7 and the S9 do as well. And for the E5, it does a little bit different. It actually spins in a circle, but both methods are really effective at picking up excessive dirt. So what's also cool about this robot vacuum? Well, the robot vacuum has a three-stage cleaning system. So it bounces the suction, the agitation of the dual extractor design. Also, the side brush is nice. It spins at a really good speed. So yes, it's a downside because if it's in the open area, it will scatter the debris. But for the edges, the side brush does grab a lot of dirt and debris. One thing I did notice is that the 960 did not go underneath the chair legs or in between the chair legs. So maybe it's not as aggressive as like the i7. I do notice that the i7 and S9 will make an attempt to go in between the chair legs, but the 960 doesn't, even though it's the same size robot as the i7 in terms of diameter. Also, this guy is about 3.6 inches in height. So you can see it clearly gets under my bed and also the dresser no problem very good and because it uses a camera system it does need some type of light but for underneath the furniture it does fine okay so here's another challenge for the 960 i actually have a iphone cable laying down on my dresser so we'll see how well this guy handles it
Okay, it was kind of hard to tell, but I think the extractors actually stopped momentarily to prevent the iPhone cable from getting tangled up in the extractors. But the robot did a good job freeing itself from that cable. Since this guy has Wi-Fi capabilities, you can connect it to the iRobot app. And it's a really robust app for this guy. You can set scheduling. You can also use Google and Alexa, which is great. You can tell the robot to start. You can tell the robot to stop. Also, you can tell it to go back to its dock. The app also provides a very detailed cleaning history, so you can see where the robot reached. Also creates a map, so you can see exactly where the robot went and it didn't go. So here's where the robot kind of get hung up on my bar stool chair legs. It's trying to back up. So it looks like the 960 kind of got stuck here. Um, that's just one thing to keep in mind is sometimes these furnitures uh, don't work with the robot. So what I would do is you can either use the lighthouse or you can just put a physical failure to prevent it from going to this area. So once you move the robot. Yep, exactly what the robot said. I moved it over a little bit and now I just press the green button and it should be good to go. Okay, so it looks like the 960 is back on track, even though I physically moved the robot about a foot or so, it had no problem figuring out where it's at and continued cleaning. So the robot will finish up in the living room area, then it will go back to my bedroom and finish up one spot it missed, and after that it will call quits and the cleaning job is done. The 960 is great for someone who has a larger home, so they can utilize the back and forth cleaning pattern. Also, there's a lot of great features for the 960. If you're looking for more of a robust mapping features like the keep out zone or the selective area, the i7 is another great choice. It looks like the robot's done. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, how much did the 960 uh, picked up. Look if I get, get the entire house. See that, guys? All that. It looks like it did a pretty good job. Alright, so if you like this type of video, please smash the like button. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nathan. This is Roller Masters, and we do a lot of cool challenges, head to heads, unboxings, overviews, teardowns, tear ups. Have a good rest of your day.